What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how to speed up your Shopify website. This is extremely vital in 2021 and you don't want to miss these tips so you can speed up your Shopify store. But before we get this video started, I just wanted to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. But before we begin these tips, I just wanna quickly cover why you should have a fast Shopify store. So moving into it, it's a diagram and it's all you need to really understand why. And so as you look from here, this is research done by Google in 2017. You can see from one to three seconds, the probability to bounce increases by 32% and it's 9, 106 and 123. And the definition of bounce here is the customer comes to your website does not get to any other pages and leaves right away. As you can see, as you start to move up in seconds in terms of how fast your Shopify store is, the customer is going to leave without doing anything. That's why it's vital that you capitalize on having a fast Shopify store. So when the customer gets to your website, they can immediately see it, view it, and then scroll through it and interact with the website. People are really used to fast websites these days. And if you don't have a fast website, the customer not even going to get a chance to look at your product. You paid for a customer to get there and you're just going to waste it by having your slow Shopify store. Speed has also become a vital part of how ad networks see your Shopify store. I know with Google AdWords and with Facebook, they check your speed now. They want to make sure that the customers who click on those ads have a really good experience and part of having a really good experience is having a fast store. The first step in speeding up your Shopify store is discovering where you can make improvements. My two recommendations for this are to use Pingdom Tools, Speed Checker, and GT Metrics. So what you're going to do is you're going to head to these sites and you're going to enter in your Shopify store domain name. So here I don't have an official domain name, so I'm just going to enter in the regular .myshopify.com domain name. So I'm going to enter them both here. I'm just going to wait for those to load. All right, so both of these are loaded now. So if I go to Pingdom here, you get an overall score. It's going to tell you your load time, how large your page size is. If you scroll down here as well, it's going to show you the waterfall. So it's going to show you each thing loading on your Shopify store. Now, this is a brand new Shopify store with no apps, no products on it. I just simply included it here for testing purposes. So score is excellent. It's under that three second load time. And if you scroll down to the waterfall here, there's nothing slowing down the process. Your Shopify store, however, is going to be a lot different. What you're going to want to do is go through the waterfall and identify certain pieces which are slowing down your website. Most commonly, this is not compressed images, so uncompressed images that are extremely large, and it's going to be excess code from Shopify apps that are slowing down your website. So if you want to scroll through here, you might see apps that you have in your store that are greatly slowing things down. These could be apps with a lot of JavaScript on top. You might want to consider removing them if it's slowing down your store too much, especially if you're not using it anymore. Scrolling to GT Metrics now as well, it's also going to show you performance and structure. Both these tools do essentially the same thing, but I find it's really good to get both of them and you can average out the two of them. So maybe the load time is a little different. You might want to average to say, if it's two seconds or three seconds, maybe it's going to be two and a half seconds or somewhere along those lines. So if you go through GT metrics as well, it also gives you a summary, certain things you can improve. And it also has that amazing waterfall structure showing you what's taking a lot of time to load here. So I've heard a look at my Shopify store here, it is the hero image on top that's taking a while to load. It's taking 1.4 seconds. Maybe I want to redownload that, try to compress it a little more and to see if I can speed things up there. Another one here is the favicon. I believe that error is because there is no favicon already on my Shopify site. So you would want to include that. You can maybe optimize that as well. Although those image files tend to be really small. Yeah, if I look at the status here, that's exactly it. A 404 is not found. So I would upload a favicon and that should remove the error there. The next tip we have here is to optimize your Shopify images. These are your product images, your homepage images, any image that you upload to your Shopify website. And so there are two ways to do it. There's going to be the tedious way and the free way, or there's going to be the paid but very inexpensive way that's going to upload and optimize all your images on your Shopify site. So the inexpensive and free way is tinypng.com. This is really good, especially for your home images and if you don't have too many products. And what you do here is you essentially load the website tinypng. You want to download your images off your Shopify store, and then you can upload them here. So I have one here. I just have a random screenshot. So I'm going to upload that, and it's going to optimize that image for me. As you can see, the file size has decreased by 75%, which is quite large. And it goes from 700 kegabytes to 178 kegabytes. The more expensive way, but faster way, is to use a Shopify app. A good one here is Image Optimizer, and it's just going to take all your images on your Shopify site and compress them. 
So they have different subscription plans based on how many images you need, but it's a really easy app to use and it can decrease your loading times dramatically. The next step to speed up your website here is to remove your excess JavaScript. This goes back to having apps. Sometimes when you delete apps, it doesn't remove all the JavaScript on your website, so you might have to manually delete it there or you can contact a developer and they should be able to remove it for you as this should be done when you delete a Shopify app. But if you wanna take a look and to see the extra things that are loaded, you just go to your Shopify homepage, you go to online store, you're gonna be under themes, and you're gonna click actions, then edit code. You wanna be careful here because there are a lot of things you could accidentally mess up on the back end. So you wanna make sure that you're carefully reviewing what's happening and you're not making any changes you don't know the consequences of because sometimes certain things may rely on certain pieces of code in here and by changing something you may cause this cascading effect adding it to an overall error of your shopify store so the way you find excess code here is you might go to pingdom and gt metrics you can find excess things that are loading and you're going to scroll and you're going to find the head tag and then you're going to scroll through the head tag to the bottom of the head tag which should be around down to the bottom here and you're just going to scroll through and you're going to look for references to certain apps you may have deleted. I really wouldn't worry about things you don't understand because usually the apps are quite labeled so you can understand what they do. But I would ignore a lot of this. But you just want my... But you might want to do a quick look through to see if you can find excess JavaScript. Another thing you might want to do here is hire a developer or talk to a developer on what to remove as you don't want to make those changes that could end up screwing up with your Shopify store then having to restore it from there. It's best probably to talk to a developer about this, but there are pieces of JavaScript that could be removed that could really speed up your website overall. The next step we have here are to use AMP pages. AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages, and it's an open standard framework designed for any publisher to create fast loading web pages on mobile devices. So essentially what this is are faster web pages for mobile. And since a lot of shoppers shop for mobile, it's especially important to have these AMP pages enabled as they will greatly speed up your website. And the easiest way to do this, as always, is with the Shopify app. This overall app has really good reviews, and it just takes your pages and changes them to AMP, and it's quite affordable. AMP's pages provide a drastic speed improvement, and it's something that Google is now saying that they prefer on their ads to have, as it is a better customer experience. The last tip today is to use hero images and not sliders. So hero images are static images on your homepage versus a slider where is where you have an image here and it's going to slide between different images. Sliders have been really popular for a long time as it's an easy way for a website to convey a lot of information on the homepage. However, it's shown that customers don't care about sliders. Only 1% of customers click through the sliders and this is since this is almost nothing, it's not worth it for you to do. And overall, having all these big hero images in your homepage really slows down your website. That's not something you want if you want to speed it up, so it's best just to remove it. So I loaded up a few websites here, so one of these is partakefoods.com. As you can see, they don't have a slider, but they convey all that information you want in your web page or your home page. It's exactly describing what they are and a nice link to shop now, a nice beautiful image of their product. Another one is Allbirds. Allbirds does not use a slider as well, and it gives you quick links on to shop men or women. So overall, you don't really want to use a slider. You can get by with just a homepage image or a hero image. And these serve the exact same purpose without slowing down your website and without providing more clutter. And this concludes my video on how you can speed up your Shopify website. It's four really easy to implement tips and it's going to make a drastic difference on how fast your Shopify site loads. Those four tips are to first check where you can make improvements on your website by using a website speed checker. The next is to compress your images using an image optimizer. The third tip is to use AMP pages, and the fourth one is to use hero images, not sliders on your homepage. Overall, these four tips should make a huge difference in speeding up your Shopify website. If you did enjoy today's content, I would love if you could smash that like button below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.